How are you doing? How are you doing? How is everybody doing tonight? I'm so excited to be on with you. Uh, This is Pep Talk with Ree, and I am your host, Ree, and I'm so excited to just be connected with you. If you can hear my voice is doing the little Barry White thing, been singing for the past few days out here in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. The thing about it is I'm actually still in Las Vegas, so if I sound a little off to you and stuff, (laughs) I'm not in the normal studio setup, but I said I have to get set back in with my family. So I'm so excited to be connected with you and to spend some time and to talk with you and uh, connect with my guest um, on tonight. Listen, I have promoters, uh, two two uh, different uh, promoters that are going to be coming on that I love and I'm connected to, and I want them to share some stuff with you. I really admire promoters, to be honest with you. Oops, let me pause. Let me pray. <laughs> Let me pop, let me back it up for a minute and let me just say, God, I thank you. I thank you, Lord God, for this evening. I thank you, Lord God, for this time and for every single individual that has tuned in and that is coming on. I ask, Lord God, that you continue to have your way. You've been doing it even throughout this day before we were even connected. And, God, I ask that prayers that have been prayed, even if there is something that can be shared on tonight's podcast, that it be received and that it be a spark to let them know that you heard them. And so, God, if I can be a tool or if my guest can be a tool on tonight to, to let it be known that you hear your children, Lord, let it be us to do so. And so, God, I thank you for this opportunity. I speak against the spirit of retaliation, distraction, anything that comes to steal, kill, and destroy what God has built up. And I give you glory in Jesus' name. Amen. So everyone that is coming on, if you agree with that prayer, I encourage you to say amen. If you're online with us on uh, any of the social media, I encourage you to type amen. Also, if you're coming in and you're chiming in online, uh, please let me know where you're tuning in from. Like I said, y'all know where I'm at. I just told you I'm still in Vegas. It's like bright outside. Um, the show was on at eight and I'm like, it is like five. So <laughs> over here. So let me know where you're tuning in from. I love to see how big this family is. It's, it's so amazing. So, um, I, like I said, I have some amazing guests that are going to be coming on tonight. And, um, I'm, I, I'm, let me tell you something when it comes to promoters, I'm really exciting and, and excited and talking into them because everybody can't be a promoter. And one of the things that I know about promoters, it reminds me of exhorters, those who exhort, exhorting meaning they boast on the Lord and uh, they lift up his name and they talk about him. I'm, I, I see myself as something like that when someone says, hey, I see Elton in the house, Baltimore, Maryland. <laughs> and so um, I, I see myself as that, like God gives me so many opportunities. And um, with those opportunities, um, when somebody says, hey, Re, you know, because that's my artist name, when they say, hey, Re, you did good or you was dope or you killed it, my response is, um, to God be the glory. Now, in part, I do say thank you, you know, because I thank God for giving me the opportunity and he's not pushing me out here to be a nobody. And so I do say thank you, but all overall, the biggest thing is to God be the glory. So I look at myself as someone who is always going to just throw it back on him and, be, and promote him. But see, the heart of a promoter, um, it can't be just anybody because promoters, they take that opportunity to push others and encourage others. You're going to hear from um, a promoter uh, named uh, Denise and Sean uh, 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 Cook, and you're going to hear from them and, and how they encourage others and in events that they have coming up soon. And actually, you'll hear from my promoter. He actually promotes me, <laughs> uh, my brother Gabriel Tyus. And so 
um, and his uh, promotion company is called uh, Keep Pushing uh, Promotions. And so I really want you to hear the story behind it and understand that everybody's not just out there trying to take your money. Okay, everybody's not out there doing that. Now, money does make things run, you know, just like if you call, you know, somebody to come see you, you may have to put some gas in a tank. Everything ain't free. If y'all believe everything ain't free, y'all need to type in amen. <laughs> you know, so even with promotion, there is some investment that you take, but you can find the heart in those promoters that come on. I'm seeing some of my family in here. Make sure you let me know where you're logging in from. And uh, I'm so excited uh, to have you on. Those that are listening and streaming in through Spreaker and uh, those that will be catching this live feed a little bit later, uh, thank you so much for your support of this uh, podcast, and I give God glory for all of that. We're going to take a little break, and uh, soon you'll be hearing from one of my guests uh, who's going to be coming on, and I can't wait to, to chat. So we're going to take a little musical break, and I, pl- I pray that you are blessed. In the meantime, those of you that are on social media with me, take this time out to share, to comment, to let me know where you're at, and then invite some friends up in here, and I'm going to do the same. I love you guys. Let's listen to some music. This is a celebration. A celebration of a people, our people, and of the contributions we've made through captivity, racism, discrimination, we've risen. And though those elements are still prevalent today, we still rise. Brothers and sisters, we can't let hardship from the past leave us laying dormant among the beggars. We come from royalty, kings, queens, that's right, educators, scientists, inventors, pioneering and engineering products that our society couldn't live without today, from the railroad to the traffic light, our culture's rich, so tell the story to our children, that there is more to black people than how well we sing, dance, and play basketball, tell them they're african American. And teach them the contributions we've made so we can celebrate. Through our tears, we celebrate. Through our battle, we celebrate. By any means necessary, (laughs) we celebrate. So brothers and sisters, stand up on your feet.
Wow, wow, wow. That song says lift every voice and sing. I thank God, you know, for the fact that we have a voice to lift up, you know, and the fact that we can all stand as brothers and sisters in Christ and do this thing together. It's all about unity, people. And so I thank God for just the strength that he's given each and every one of us to move forward and do that thing. But you know what? I'm so excited right now to bring on uh, my first guest. And so I'm looking forward uh, to just sharing and for you all to hear what it is that we are going to be discussing. So let's open up the line. And I want to say hello to you. Thank you so much uh, for joining us on Ted Talk with Ree. Well, thank you for having me. It's an honor and a privilege to be a part of your a part of your evening. Thank you so hey, much for having me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think this is the first time we've actually, we've done a lot of messenger and stuff. I think this is the first time we've actually talked, you know, and heard each other's voices. I heard your beautiful but, music. <laughs> thank you. I, I, I follow you all the time. It's so exciting. You're all the way in Vegas. and Oh, my we're, gosh. We're in Ohio, I'm, and it's it's cool and dreary here tonight. <laughs> oh, oh, see, I'm so thrown. Like, it's so light outside. I'm, like, really confused right now. But I'm, like, <laughs> it, it really is the time that it's supposed to be, and I'm not in this odd place, you know. So, <laughs> but I'm definitely so glad to um, to just chat with you. And um, I hope your, your listeners and your followers are on so that we can all get in on this. I want to hear um, about what it is that's getting ready to go down in uh, Ohio. So, for, but first, I want, if you could, my girl, uh, Dr. T, always says, no one, no one can tell your story and, and, and talk about you the way that you can. So, first, if you could, please let us know um, who you are and uh, okay. what it is that God has for you to do. Okay, well, I mean, I grew up, I'm a Christian artist. I grew up singing in church my entire life, probably mm-hmm. singing since I was probably around three years old. And wow. that's that was always my first love. And I, I knew from an early start that was my calling. I had, right. I don't really have an incredible, you know, moment to tell where I came to Jesus. I was brought, right. brought, brought to Jesus in the house of the Lord. My grandma taught me everything I knew about the Bible. And, you know, we, right. we had some amazing Bible studies together, but to fast it's forward, beautiful. I, I went on a different track and I studied classically. I sang opera for a long time, but then, I didn't feel fulfilled. I, I didn't really feel like I was singing for a purpose. And right. um, I didn't feel like opera was for the people. So I wanted right. to go back to my roots. And and I began my Christian ministry probably about seven, eight years ago. And mm-hmm. an all different walk with the Lord and trying to bring people to Him through song. And um, I never thought I'd ever fall in love and, and meet somebody so wonderful, but uh, oh, I met somebody. I met somebody almost three years ago, and uh, yeah. we, we got married last May. So we'll be married a year in May. But um, congrats! <laughs> thank you, thank you. He's a big. He's my biggest supporter and my biggest fan, and um, he he loves gospel music, and so he is doing the promotion part of it. I try to help him organize everything, and I know what it's like, artist. I know what artists want and need, so right. he tries to fulfill that for them. And one of his biggest dreams was to have was to have a three day event like we're going to have in May. I was so excited about it, and, yeah. and Cincinnati really needs this for the community. And, right. and it's quite fitting that we found a church called Hope City. So because wow. they do so much for the community, they do a lot for right. us. It's, it's doing them. Um, um, hygiene kits for the homeless and to meet a pastor that has such a heart for community and uh, we, we've been really blessed to, to find him to work with. We've been trying to find a great venue to, to hold this event and he has just opened up and welcomed us in with you know open arms and we're so excited. That's awesome. And and you know, we don't really want to confuse the artist. I know I know we have a fee, but I don't mm-hmm. want that to be used as a pay to play thing. It's not like that at all. We're right. we're trying to like offer a promotion for that and that in turn that helps us pay for the facility. So yeah. that's let me let me let me jump in. Let me hop yeah. scotch in right quick. <laughs> so sure. and, and especially with that, with the um when you talked about the pay and um when I first 
um, first came on tonight, one of the things that I shared, and I really, I, I really have this thing for uh, promoters in the heart of it, those that uh, do what you do and, and what my next guest does as well. And, um, yeah. and I said, and I, and I, and I said, and I understand that we can't do everything for free, you know, and there's some investment that comes into that. It's not about, and, and I, de- and I definitely encourage the ones, especially that I'm talking to tonight, I'm not just trying to take money to fatten the par- pockets and sit exactly. back and just let people do whatever, but it does okay. take something. But even the investment that is going towards this, um, this, uh, uh, event is minimal um, uh, based on um, when you look at everything that is going to uh, happen in this three-day event. Walk us through, because I'm really excited, and I'm actually going to be a part of this um, over yes. there in, in Ohio. I'm super excited. Like, let's oh. go through, like, day one, yep. day two, day three. And um, and just for those that are listening, and if they're, they're wanting to come on board or whatever, they can know what's in store. Well, for each day, it's you know it's pretty much the same format. I, I, I'm still working on some surprises for everybody, but overall, we'll begin the day with a worship, a prayer service, which I'm really excited about. And I know I had asked you to be a part of that, and I'm so thrilled that you want to be. You just don't know how I, I just wish to live closer to each other so we could work together more often because it's so yeah. neat to meet somebody that has similar hearts. And I just, I think that's a beautiful thing. And I know God has brought, brought you to my path for that reason. I just, I'm so Amen. excited to finally meet you in person. But oh. we'll, we'll begin the day with a prayer service. And that'll just be a really great time to come together, you know, as, as a community and for fellowship. And to open up this, this to the unity for it all. And, and right. to, to start the day in a beautiful way to to have our afternoon concerts and we'll have a whole afternoon of concerts and then we'll probably have a break, a break for dinner and then we'll have evening concerts every night. And one of my surprises is I'm working on it. I'm trying, I guess it's not a surprise if I tell you, but I I want to, um, I thought about having uh, a night where we could do some, like a hymn night kind of thing where after the concert, maybe, you know, just to kind of have a good old fashioned like sing kind of we sing together right. and right. You know, in the night that way, which I thought would be kind of fun. So Ooh. you know, I'm just really hoping that it brings the community a lot of hope, and it's all about Jesus, and that's what it's that's what it's for. I mean, it's really it's neat for me because I get to sing and and meet all the different artists. I'm so excited right. to meet all, and and Sean's all excited because you know he really wants. This is what he wants to do. He wants to bring concerts and, and for good causes. And, you know, right. we do a lot of this kind of thing in the community. Um, we do a lot of benefit concerts around here anyway. We work with right. a, a children's home around here, and we do nightly, or not not nightly, monthly, like maybe a month or every two-month concerts where we, we bring in donations for the children because these children have nowhere to go. Um, mm. they're, it's like a safe haven. They've been pulled out of their house for either been trafficking for drugs or oh, it, wow. it's just yeah. good concerts for them. But, you know, we, we this is like a really big event for us and we're really excited to, to bring people together and, and sing for one cause. And it's, it's, a, good, awesome. it's a beautiful thing. And I'm, I'm really here. excited. Absolutely. I'm super excited. Um, now if someone is interested in being a part, what is the name of the event and, how can they get connected to be a part? Okay, it's Faith Fest 2018, and you can either contact contact us at queencitymusicpromotions.com or our Facebook page where Sean's very active on that. <laughs> I think he probably, I think he's promoting it so much that I think, you know, Facebook was wondering if he was a robot at one point. So, oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so we That's had a good promotion. <laughs> yeah, they were they wanted to make sure he wasn't being hacked. And um Right. So that but um yeah, we can be contacted there. We're very active on social media. And awesome. um there's a phone number on the flyer, so you know, my phone that's uh one of them is my booking line, but I'm taking, you know, tickets or um requests or any any artists that wanna be involved. I still have some time to get some booths, so if there's cool. anybody that that wants to be involved, I have a few few spots available. So, 
Awesome. Listen, those of you that are listening in, please make sure to contact my guests and um, at the information. Hopefully somebody can put that in as well. Or, um, Denise, if you come on to um, the, the Facebook Live, if you could type that in uh, for those yeah. uh, so that they can definitely know how to reach you. Um, and this is an event, and it's, all, it's for all uh, – all styles of gospel music. And so exactly. it's not just, um, and, and the key thing is unity, you know, and, and that's what um, I'm so, that's the biggest part of what I'm so excited about um, is that God has allowed for us with all of our unique talents, gifts, looks, <laughs> you know, skin exactly. color, all of that. He's allowed for us to come out as diverse as we are. But the beautiful thing is we have one thing in common, and that is an amazing yeah. father. And we have the love of God that rests Amen. inside of each and every one of us. And so there are many things in this world um, that try to make us look at each other um, and, and, and cause uh, separation and division. And, oh, this is that genre. Oh, that's that type of thing. But if we're exactly. connected to the spirit of God, then we are of one body. And so that's the beautiful thing for us all to be able to collectively come together and lift up the name of Jesus. Because, listen, there may be something that I may sing or how I sing it that may be good for one and connect with one, but it may mm-hmm. not connect with another. And it's not a bad thing. It's all about what you connect. But, see, when we all come together, then, one, then we're hitting all areas and we're doing what we need to do. When Christ Amen. went out, he had his 12, you know, and all 12 weren't in one area all the time. They were sent out into diverse areas because what Paul could do, maybe Peter couldn't do. You know what I'm saying? And what, what <laughs> Matthew could do, maybe John couldn't do. But what they all could do was their assignment, and that's how we get the work done. And when we look at what God has called for us to do, and then we come together and we do that side by side with one another, that's when we're mm-hmm. really pushing forth the kingdom and the glory of God. So, Ms. Denise, Amen. I thank you so much um, for well, just connecting. I, oh, I'm so excited, too. And one thing that people should know is it's not just going to be a, just a show-type situation. I mean, yeah, there are things right. there. But, you know, it's, it, the church plant opens up into a mall, which is another part that I love, because right. you're going to be – are going to be hearing the music and they're going to be drawn into the, into that space and you're going right. to be able to minister people to you're going to be able to minister to people that aren't even expecting a blessing and right. I think you're just going to be able to touch so many people's lives and that's the unique situation that I just kind of fell in love with because you know it's not just you know sit down and you know we're going to sing to you it's just like you know people right. that want to even, they just might be shopping for furniture at Ethan Allen next door and they're going to be pulled in, which is really exciting. So, because that's awesome, it, it leads right into Exhibit Hall there. So, it's it's that's really awesome. Neat. Yeah, yeah it's, you know. So that's cool, um, and it's and it's about it's it's about the ministry, you know. So I love that you share that aspect of it. Um, that that it's if we're called, especially the gospel music. Um, you know, we're we're not out here just singing any old kind of thing just to do it. But if we're really called for, especially this, then there's not only the beautiful sound and, and, the, and the stuff that we have, but then it's the message that's behind it, and then it's the work and the lifestyle that comes after that, and that's what it really happens. When you finish, finish singing your song, and someone says, that was amazing, and I was going through in my life, and I was about to give up until I heard you, are you just going to say thank you and go get the album, or are you going to be able to encourage them and tell them, don't you ever give up? God has called you and he placed you here for this very reason, for you to know that you're worth it. So I encourage every single artist, even listening, there's more to your song than just singing it and getting put on some chart and, and getting yeah. some, you know, money in your pocket or your album out there. What is right. your lifestyle behind it? Because God has lifted and, cre- and increased our territory, you know, just like the prayer Jay says, okay, enlarge my territory. For what? God has increased and enlarged it for us to give him back the glory and what else to draw his people back on home. There are so many prodigal children and all of that who are needing to come back home and he's allowing mm-hmm. for us to go and do what he's called to do. So Ms. Kumi, yep. um, that's our time, but I thank you so much for coming on. Once again, tell us how we can thank connect you. with you. Thank you so much. I'm at queencitymusicpromotions.com or our Facebook page and our flyer there will have our number where you can reach us and I'll go in and type it in for you. It's the, you know, it's five one three 
Um, 816-8389 is one of the numbers that they can call. But I, I just really appreciate you, and I'm, we're going to be so blessed to have you, and you're going to be leading some prayer services. So we're, so, we're going to be so blessed to have you. I'm so excited. Me too, me too. I can't wait to meet you. And until then, we'll stay connected via Facebook. Y'all make sure to reach out. Get yourself on this event. Um, Get connected. It's something that you don't want to miss. Okay, guys? All right. Well, I love each and every one of you. And we're going to have a musical break right quick. And then we're going to come back with my guest, uh, Brother Gabriel Tyus. I don't know what he has in store. He is, oh, my gosh. We'll see what he has to say. You'll see when he comes on. We're going to take a quick musical break. Thank you, Miss Denise. Thank you. God bless you. Oh, boy. Here goes another one. Ephesians 6.12 says, What does it say? For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, uh-huh. against, against powers, yes. against the rulers of the darkness of this world, yes. against spiritual wickedness in high places. Come on. I'm so visual and so physical, kinda analytical, way too critical to get with you invisible. I don't see you, I just see me, that's why I be lost in the sauce, in this world I'm hurt, in the life I used to live, is no longer working. People so cold when you look throughout history, but God intended us to have love and victory. So why we ended up in this place we don't wanna be? We all are making choices that are not so healthy, take up your armor so when the day you're evil come. Stand firm and be able to stand your ground. Take up your word and do what it says. Remember to meditate and say all your prayers. All about action, like a seed in the ground. When you first plant it, you water the seed and then begin to nurture. When the sun comes down, then the plants begin to worship. Growing in the word, living to be righteous. Study real smart so we can be conscious. Walk into the light with love everlasting. Along with prayer, we should all be fasting. Focused on God and His complete will for us. Moving in directions, let living God with trust. Moving in the way that God would have us be. When we follow God's word, oh, we, we can change. Change history. Come on. Uh huh. Get some more cry. We gotta get it. Yes. Get some more cry. They're coming for us. You heard? Come on now. Put on the whole armor. Get some more cry. We gotta get it together. Yes. I ain't playing. Are you ready for a fight? No. Come on. No more time will I be wasting with this crazy mess. I'm looking forward to the time when we will all be blessed. Now it's time for us to do what we came here for. Taking up the word, studying and, and being fruitful. Being useful and, and being truthful. Being strong in the Lord and, and helping people. Lord, we need you to help us get through all the things we constantly put ourselves through. Lord, people don't be smiling. People all around the world are needlessly dying. Mothers all around the world are crying for their sons. Brothers doing silly things and dying by the gun. Sisters in the streets pounding the pavement. Hanging with some dude just so she can get the pavement. We're getting caught up in the flesh. This is why we're in this mess. People hurting people. People living with regret. But it ain't over yet. The best is yet to come. So prepare yourselves to receive the sun. The most high. The everlasting word. Drink from the water and live your heart. I ain't mad at you. You do what you do. Know the time is coming when God comes back for you. Are you ready for him? Yes, the second coming. Will he catch you living? Or will you still be running? What? It's a war cry. It's a war cry. We in a war. For sure. It's a war cry. We got to get our spirits together. For sure. In the name of the law. In the name of the law. war cry. We got to get ready for this fight. Come on. Are you ready for a fight? Uh-uh. 
That song was War Cry. I, that is that. That song was I like the beat was okay. It had you kind of bobbing. I felt like you know real tough. Like I could get ready to knock some things down. Okay, I felt a little strength in my little sister. <laughs> well, I'm so glad to to um have talked with my my sister niece. And like I said, um and like she uh, shared. Please um, make sure to get connected with her, to her uh, for Faith Fest, which will be uh, coming up so really soon. So make sure that there's a deadline uh, that is coming uh, very shortly for you to, you know, connect and get yourself in. But make sure you do that. It's an event that you don't want to miss. So I want to, I'm really excited to talk to uh, my next guest who is coming on. And he's my brother, uh, Gabriel Tyus. And there's just so much to share about him. He's my promoter, uh, like I said earlier, and um, I, let me just bring him on. So thank you so much um, for calling in. And, Gabe, are you on the line? I'm on the line. What's up, good people? <laughs> hey, how you doing? How you doing? What's up? What's up? I'm good. Yes. I'm so glad that you're on. I really am, and it's such an honor to have you, you know, on. Like, okay, listen, we just had this event that we – I just came out of called the gospel experience. And honestly, you know, I was just on that event and I really didn't know fully what to expect. Um, and I knew, you know, I had a few events to kind of do throughout the weekend and was kind of just getting apart. But I'm telling you, coming out of that, that is the, 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 the top, the climax to everything of, of what went down. I just first want you coming off of, you know, the cusp of that just to share what, we experienced what you experienced, what all of that. Please just give those that weren't there just what that was about. Oh, man. First of all, I will thank you for the opportunity for being on your show. Uh, shout out to Jerry. Shout out to everyone else. Um, oh, wow. uh, Friday at one thirty was amazing, honestly. Um, I didn't know what to expect. This is my first time doing something big like that. Right. I've done a couple of events before. But doing something that big, when I say big, meaning doing Stellar Weekend, with there's a whole lot of, like, 30,000 events going on. I'm just exaggerating, but there's a lot of events going on that weekend. But right. from 1.30 to 5.45, people was there. Um, mm. Can't no artist say they sung in front of two people. I mean, you, right. you had a crowd from right. 1.30 to the end. And honestly, it surprised me. Um, but one thing God told me a long time ago, be ready. So right. I was ready. I was nervous because I'm human, but he wow. said be ready. So I was ready for it. Right. It was so amazing. And you know what? I'm jumping ahead. First, I want to give you an opportunity to introduce yourself to people who may not know who you are. Um, you, Dr. T, you know Chanel. She always say, can't nobody tell your story like you can. So please right, right, give right. us an introduction. Go ahead. Let's hear from you. Introduction. This is Mr. Keep pushing himself, Gabriel yep. Tyers from Cincinnati, Ohio, by living in Maryland. I'm going to have a uh, emotional company called Keep Pushing. Keep Pushing is basically a testimony of what I went through when I was 28. I tried to commit suicide, um, and I wanted to die. Really, I was tired of church, tired of people, tired of just everyday life in general. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, I'm 35 years old now, so God didn't, didn't let me kill myself. But um, right. Keep Pushing came from, that, that's basically my testimony. Uh, my former first lady, she had a dream about me committing suicide. I didn't believe in prophecy until at, at age 28. I came back a wow. month later and told her, yeah, that was me. Um, out of all the spiritual things she said to me, keep pushing stood out. She told me whatever yeah. I'm going through, what I, whatever I will go through, is not for me, it's for someone else. Because um, everyone can't handle what um, may come their way, whether it's bad, good, or ugly. And I probably yeah. have been through bad, good, and ugly, and I'm still standing here today. Yeah, yeah, that's huge. That's huge. And you know what? The fact that... You know, you went through that, and you were told to do it. I noticed, um, because like I, I shared, you promote me. And I right. see your Facebook. Um, I see every day, y'all. If y'all are not connected to Gabriel Fox, make sure you do so. You don't have to be an artist to connect with him. Listen, every single day, there is something that he wakes up with and gives to inspire you to keep pushing, to keep going. Whether it's uh, on Fridays, we always get, we made it through the week. You know, right. and that is amazing because <laughs> you don't know who, who, what people went through and all of that. Um, can you give us just even a drive behind what, what, what's up with those everyday things? What pushes you to even do that, those everyday um, I, uh, posts that you do? Honestly, the everyday posts is for me. <laughs> wow. Uh, 
Okay. Every day post really for me because God will tell me stuff or I'll read a book or whatever. But the every day right. post is really for me. But I know we all dealing with something, whether it's church, out of church. We all do battle with something. So if I can motivate myself, I know I can hopefully motivate someone else not to give up or at least right. keep going. You know what I'm saying? You may be in a bad marriage, but give it two more months. It may work out. Right. That's huge. That's huge. Well, here's another thing. Um, I was talking about my other guest who was on. She's actually from Ohio, uh, Cincinnati, and I'm actually going to be heading there to okay. Space Fest coming soon. But um, okay. one of the things I said, and I've been talking to Chanel about it, I really admire uh, promoters, and here's the reason. I know that everybody can't do that. And right. um, it reminds me of, uh, like, exhorters or those who promote God. For instance, us artists out here, um, you could tell the ones that promote God and the ones that promote themselves. You know, mm-hmm. by when something happens, do you take all the glory to you or do you give it back? And I look at as far as a promoter, um, it takes a lot to um, always put somebody else before you. So that means mm-hmm. your name is not always going to be out. When you put on these big concerts, you know, somebody might have tore down the house, you know, and all right. of that. What type of person is a true promoter? Because we know the ones, and, and people may have heard <laughs> the ones who take your money, you know, right, and right. who do this because they think it's a big money train. And right. uh, what what is the what is the heart of that? Where does that come from? And oh, do you man. have to be called to do it? Oh, uh, well, so you know, open up another door. So first of all, hey. I have to give a shout out to my parents. Um, I'm, my father is a pastor. My mother's an elder. Um, mm. If it wasn't for them, of course, I wouldn't be here. But they taught me a lot, just to appreciate and actually to serve. Um, I don't mind serving nobody. I get no credit, and I do it all the time. And I don't right. I need the accolades. I'm not in this business to get any money for any artist or any uh, uh, a promote or any other promoter or whatever. Of course, right. we, we all got to pay some kind of money to keep it rolling or whatever, but it's exactly. not about money to me at all. It's all about you believing in me, me believing in you, and let's push each other together. I want, right. So, I mean, I don't have any hidden motives or let me get this person. They got all the money in the world. No, not at all. I mean, because yeah. honestly, some artists I work with, and some of them have been broke, like honestly, and I work the deal out with them because we all right. we all financially are different. Like the money right. you can have, it be different than the next person around the corner. So it's not about money at That's all. True. It's all about if you believe in me, then hey, I, I believe in you because you believe in me. So right. somebody gave me a chance. People have gave me a chance to serve, and I did, and I've done the job. And but wow, he really did that. So why mm. not just my chance? Right. And you know what I like about that? I could see it. And I'm coming out. I've been in music and, and uh, traveling and singing with people for years. But as an independent artist, this was really just last year for me. And, um, you know, connecting with people, I'm not one to just jump in and connect and to just throw my money out. I'm not rich. You right, know, right, I may be rich in spirit, <laughs> but um, I'm not rich just to be handing somebody money. And especially, you know, like, I could do this to you. I could do that for you. Because I'm smart, too. I could do it, too. You know, but... Right. <laughs> the thing is, the thing is that one, I do understand that uh, relationships make sense, and also oh, yeah. connections make sense. And the whole yeah. thing about it, it's not what you know; it's who you know makes sense. That's true. But it's also where God connects you too. But one thing that I, I really like and love about you, um, not only you you approached me, um, you know, to connect, and I had a few mm. people do it too, and threw these asinine prices at me. But right. when you shared it, I was like, huh? You know, and then when I seen who you were connected to, then it was very clear and evident it's not about the money. But then oh, to no. take it a step <laughs> further, to take it a step further, you truly, genuinely, we have a relationship, you know, that oh, goes yeah. beyond that. And that I'm so grateful and I'm so thankful for. And I want to encourage anybody that's out there, you know, if you think you're moving and doing whatever, you have to. It's all about connection and relationship, not connection is to try to get over but even those mm-hmm. calls to be like, hey, how you doing? To laugh, to hang out right quick or do whatever. That means right. something, you know. So do you have anything even to share just about relationships? Because I know you see a lot, and I know you <laughs> see, you know, <laughs> different things, and people may be right. trying to just, you know, connect with this just to get here. Can you share something about that and maybe, you know, just give some advice as to, you know, just how that works as far as relationships? Um, relationships are key. Um, uh, one thing you said, people will try to get close to me all the time, honestly, right. all the time. I it's thought I did that. I worked with. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. I, um, I, uh, based off of who I worked with 
who I work right. with now. Um, I thank God for the gift of discernment because I know who like now they just face. Or yeah. I, I can still be nice and mean at the same time. Um, so yeah. artists, whoever listening, do not click with everyone. Um, make sure you are called C A L L E D. Call mm-hmm. to do what you are doing. Um, a lot right. of times, and I say for singers, some singers there do it because the first lady on the on the um, front row or the the mother said, "Yeah, you can go sing." Now you're gonna make yeah. an album and it flop, and you wonder why nobody bought it. Well, God didn't yeah. call you to do it. I mean, yeah. that lady told you to do it. Your pastor to do it. Did God call you to do it? Um, so this right. music industry, it is big, but it's small. Um, so you right. have to know the industry for yourself. Don't depend on Gabe or um, Reed to tell you no. The, find out your own stuff. One thing I like about Reed, you no, know, it's your show. Uh, yeah, I do work for her. She works for me, but she does the same work I do. I don't have yeah. to do all the work because she does it too because she believes in her own brand and dream. And that's what yeah. I like about Reed and other artists. You know, even Young Saint, I mean, you've worked with Young Saint for the past year and a half, two years. Young Saint thought about giving up like maybe three months ago, and now mm-hmm. the doors that flew open for him. Like, stuff right. that happened to him that he never thought it would happen, it's happened. So, wow. artists, um, be, be careful who you click with. Be careful who you put your mouth on. Because he, a lot of artists, a lot of people put their mouth on me. A lot of people mm-hmm. like this. I tell them my own stuff. A lot of people put their mouth on me when I did my event uh, Friday. They said that right. we're successful. Nobody would come. Why is he doing that? He's the new kid on the block. Which is, new kid on the block, I am. That's true. I'm the new kid on the block. Every yeah. negative word was spoken to me, and I heard about it from someone else. I right. didn't say nothing back. And the people that said it was the ones that I have helped throughout the mm. years that I would wow. never thought would say anything, but that just motivated me to, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, keep pushing. At the end of the day, Amen. some people just want to want you to be on their team because of who you are, who's connected to. Eventually, that's when they keep two colors, so just be careful. Stay prayed up, and that's what it is, bro. That's for real. So, listen, that this is Gay Real Tires. I want for y'all to make sure to get connected to him. Artists, yes, if you are looking me. for somebody, yes, if you're looking for somebody who um, is going to push you um, and, and keep you, a lot of the things that you've seen me do, even some of these big things, has been for my brother, right? You know, even with this one, in my inbox, like, hey, you know, <laughs> and get me on. So I appreciate that. I want for everybody to have the best these um, my guests that have come on are the best. Make sure that you connect and be with real folk. This is real folk. Know that you have to invest in it. Um, these aren't mm-hmm. people that's just taking your money, but it does take some money. Everything ain't right. free. And uh, so I thank you so much for coming on. Remember also, he said another thing um, that, you know, you can have somebody promoting you, but you need to be doing some work too. My brother has come in my inbox at times and say, hey, hey, you need me to, you need me to push that. You know, so right. you want to have that. You want to be working and you want them to be working. You can't expect somebody to do everything and you ain't doing nothing. So right, that's thank you so much for making your way over here. I know you're a busy man and I'm so grateful to have you on. Just some last words on how we can stay connected with you. What can we follow and um, what type what type of promotion you do? It's not just artists. I keep saying artists, but now this, God has expanded your brand. So who can come to you and how can we connect? Anyone can come to me. As long as you're not downgrading a man or woman, that's work. Uh, nail techs, barbers, uh, barbershops, barbers, um, church anniversaries, artists, uh, R&B singers, deal soul singers. It doesn't matter. Um, as long as you, again, as long as you're not downgrading a man or woman, that's work. Um, you can follow yeah. me. I have a fan page called Keep Pushing Promotions. Uh, again, Keep Pushing Promotions. You can't spell that. Go back to school. Um, I have an Instagram. <laughs> I have an Instagram. Gabriel Ty 32. Twitter page is Keep Pushing P. Now I have another Twitter page, just Tyus Gabriel. Um, but, of course, my regular page on Facebook is Gabriel Tyus. G-A-B-R-I-E-L. Last name is Tyus, T-Y-U-S. And also, I'm nominated for the SIBO Awards. Go vote for me on all your uh, devices, iPads, right. cell phones, your pager, um, the, the house phone, the pay phone. All right. Go vote for me. <laughs> I'm, I'm in a category with a lot of people that I look up to, that I work with right now. Uh, so if we win, great. If we don't win, that's fine. As long as somebody wins. Um, yeah, that's yeah. Follow. Okay. Well, I love you, bro. Enjoy Vegas. And uh, I'm going to do the same. No problem. Thank All you right. for coming on. Thank you, everybody, for nope. tuning in to Pet Talk with Re. Y'all make sure to have a wonderful Monday and stay tuned for my girl Zion. Rock with Zion on Rock Life Live. It's a love thing. Get your three day sticks every Monday. Hey, heart, I 
the shattered and broken but sincere heart. It's so simple. She sees you, she needs you, but it's so hard. Pushed her aside and now she's confused She's suffering, it's so complicated Yet she loves you You're 